Hey there, Crystal Thompson here with Unity Stamp Company Project. Today's color combo is black, white, pink, of course, and we are just creating a kind of wedding inspired card with one stamp set. Stay tuned. I'm going to show you how to shift your stamp set so you can move the direction, especially with florals. We're using the script, simple stamping, no line, copic coloring, lots of techniques in this one, but creates a very simple card. All right, guys, so we're going to begin with the petals and wings designed by Angie. And what we're going to be using is this beautiful, I don't think it's a tulip, something that looks like a tulip, along with the With Love. And then we have two pieces of white cardstock. Let me show you. We have our card base ready to go. It's scored completely. And then I've cut about a quarter of an inch. So this is going to make an A2 size card. And then I have two of those, card, those flowers that I was telling you guys about. Um, I did some no line coloring with Copics on this and so it's going to be some bold and some softness to this card. So let's begin by stamping the inner part of our card. Now I am using Tyler's Expressions Premium Dye in Oreo so it's just a very basic black and what we're going to do with this is we are going to stamp this flower onto the card and so we're going to create like a negative and a positive, the negative being the black and the positive being the color. Be sure that you protect your surface. I haven't been good about doing that, so I need to be better about that. I'm using just some printer paper. Scrap paper works great, but the purpose of the video, I'm going to use some clean stuff just to get you guys that beautiful visual. So I have that inked up. And I did twist um, my stamp set just a little bit in the acrylic block so it would look a bit different. So there is some flexibility. All right, and now we're going to stamp the other edge. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean this off and I'm going to straighten the flower up. So I know my acrylic block isn't quite fitting, but I'm going to straighten the neck of the flower, the stem of the flower and allowing the acrylic to hold it up. So now you see how I shifted my stamp to give me a different angle. So then we're gonna ink it up. And these are gonna, these standing up flowers are gonna go down here. So again, it's gonna give us a different angle. And bring this guy a little bit taller. And then we're gonna do just a little head of the, of the flower at the bottom. And you have a very pretty, very clean and simple uh, background for it. We're going to stamp with love in the same black. And I'm loving the color combination for this. So you have your black and white, and then you have beautiful pinks. So I'm going to set this aside. Let me show you what this looks like, minus the distraction here. And so we are ready to place our colored flowers. So again, these had been stamped on a no line colorings ink and then I went ahead and did some Copic coloring, which is very, very simple. I, I kind of just stuck to the lines and then at the end I went ahead and did the edges with that pink so it would pop out. So we're going to add some foam adhesive to the back of these and we're going to come back and place them on our card. Alright guys, so we are ready to place these. I added the 3D foam little squares that are pre-cut and ready to go. So all I'm going to do is going to place them, trying to angle them where there's not one already, the, the ones that we just stamped. And then you can just shift your paper. I'm not going to attempt it. I'm kind of scared at this point. But I'm going to place this down. And I'm going to not cut yet. So I'm going to bring in my card base and my runner. And I'm going to add, so you're going to flip this over, I'm going to add adhesive. On the back and then we're going to go ahead and center it there we go make sure i get you guys in frame trying to have equal spacing all right so that's ready to go so then what we're going to do we're just going to trim at the base of the card at the base of the card base right at the base of the flower on the card base and that way you have something that goes all along down to the bottom and it just gives it something additional. For embellishment I'm using the Nouveau Drops. This is gloss ebony black and all we're gonna do is give it just little itty bitty circles. I thought about splattering with black ink 
but I was like, you know what? I really want to keep this clean look. And the way to be add some of these black dots is to do it with Nouveau Drops. So you can even use itty bitty black sequins that would work really well. I'm gonna bring this guy up here. So as you're placing your little little dots, you could even do it with a black marker. Honestly, there's a ton of possibilities on how you can embellish your cards. And it's still simple. It's still relatively simple. Very simple stamping, beautiful coloring, and some gorgeous sentiments. And I think you can use this even for a wedding. I have, I feel like this has a wedding vibe to it with the script of the sentiment and the coloring of the flowers. Guys, that does it for me. Thank you so much for joining me today. This is Crystal Thompson, Creating with Unity Stamp Company. Have a lovely day.